Hello everyone, I'm Varsha Singh, DNP, Advanced Practice Nurse, and I'm here on Indus TV to deliver this tribute to all our nurses, the healthcare heroes. I would like to thank Indus TV for inviting me and creating this wonderful snippet which will be remembered for a long, long time. Nursing leaders inspire and motivate nurses. The nurses look up to the leader and say, I want to be like them. I want to be like this leader. Dr. Ernest Grant is that kind of a leader. Dr. Grant is 36th president for American Nurses Association, which represents the interest of 4 million registered nurses in the United States. Dr. Grant is the first male president who is currently serving ANA in the presidential position. Dr. Grant is recipient of Nurse of the Year Award in 2013 from President George Bush that was given for his work. The way he treated the victims of World Trade Center, the award was given in 2013. Dr. Grant is a born leader. He inspires many and I'm sure that this message by him will keep us inspired and motivated. Hello, I'm Dr. Ernest Grant, president of the American Nurses Association. In the wake of coronavirus, I truly commend the consideration of the health and safety of everyone through your decision to make this a virtual ceremony. I would like to say that this year marks a turning point for you, a time of transition in your own leadership journey as a nurse. Throughout your nursing career, you will be exposed to new ideas, new concepts, and new challenges that will assist you as you are accepting the mantle of leadership and joining the ranks of proud and trusted leaders who have preceded you. As you are aware, the nursing profession has been ranked as the most trusted profession for the 18th consecutive year. As you dialogue and interact with your colleagues today, please remember that as you assume your leadership position today, you will not only be expected to continue to hold the public's trust, but also the trust of your colleagues as well. What you do to the lives and, and of those that values in the years ahead will define you as a person, also as a leader, but it will also define how the nursing profession will move forward. For it is you, it is your turn to take command of the rudder and to steer the ship of your profession during these very turbulent times. I have no doubt that you will succeed in your endeavor. Today, I ask you cons to consider how you will continue to bring the mission, vision, and value statement of your leadership style to life. How can you transform nursing through the inclusiveness of diverse communities, passionate people, innovative practices, and produce extraordinary outcomes? How can you seize every opportunity to learn, grow, and better the lives of your patients, the conditions at your workplace, or the profession of nursing through your leadership? I ask each of you to consider what is the legacy that you want to leave when you decide that you have completed your goal. When you look back, ask yourself, did I achieve that legacy? Is my profession better because of what my fellow colleagues and I work to achieve? You know, nurse revolutionaries, those leaders in the fight for a better, more acceptable healthcare started their journey just as you did today. They were all happy to accept the mantle of leadership, but they were not satisfied with the status quo. They each recognized opportunities to transform the profession, and in doing so, created and left behind something bigger and better for the rest of us. As you start or continue your leadership journey, I challenge you to find and develop your own opportunities to make a difference. This is particularly important at a time when nurses are at the lifeline between hospitalized patients and their families who cannot visit, who cannot be there to hold their hands as they're transitioning from this life into the next. They provide comfort and continue to be there for the public who look to them for sources of accurate information and the calm voices of reason. Nurses did not enter the profession to become heroes, 
but their dedication and work are heroic. We rise to meet the challenge because that's who we are. It's important to note that we advocate not only for patients, but also for those who provide care, meaning our colleagues, or to see the big picture, the profession itself. As you grow in your leadership journey, I challenge you to think critically every day about what could be changed for the better. Examine every experience, those that seem nominally important and those that seem groundbreaking in the moment. For occasions to question, to speak up, to organize, and to advocate. In honor of the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale, 2020, as you know, has been designated as the Year of the Nurse and Midwife by the World Health Organization. While no one predicted what we are facing today, we're reminded now more than ever of the true strength and commitment of this profession. While fighting a global pandemic, nurses are providing expert, compassionate care, leading by example, shaping healthcare policies, and advocating for resources. The year of the nurse is sure to be a year of inspiration. Despite the difficult times that we're living in, I challenge you to make it your year. Share your experiences. Challenge others to take on leadership roles. Focus on your physical and mental health. And take every opportunity to advance your professional organization and professional development. You are the future, and together, we must lead the way to excellence. Thank you again for the opportunity you've given me to participate in this important day. Most of all, I wish you the very best as you move forward with your leadership journey. Please know that you have the knowledge and skills within you to move your association to new heights. You will face a lot of angst, criticism, and doubt. I urge you to take pride in the job that lies before you and make the most of this valuable opportunity of leadership. Work hard to spot those little moments that can grow into great opportunities. You might not see your legacy now, but it is waiting for you to discover it and also to nurture it. The profession is counting on you. Be strong. We have Dr. Pamela Cipriano. She is the Dean and Sari Health Professor at University of Virginia School of Nursing. Dr. Cipriano was also named as top 100 most influential people in healthcare by Modern Healthcare Magazine and she was also named as top 25 women in healthcare. It's an honor and pleasure to have her here giving this powerful message to all our nurses. She is a member of International Council of Nurses and leads many, many nurses through her example, nationally and internationally. Around the world, we looked forward to celebrating 2020 as the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife as supported by the World Health Organization, WHO. As nurses, we know the amazing things that we do as clinicians, researchers, educators, innovators, administrators, and leaders in every space where we live, learn, work, worship, and play. But in 2020, we also wanted to help educate world leaders and the public about the need to recognize the essential nature of the impact that nurses have on health and healthcare, and urge investment in nurses, both for their education and healthy, safe working environments. In addition to affirming the life-saving and compassionate acts we witness every day when a nurse touches the life of someone, we wanted to bring light to the influence of nurses on our communities and families, both sick and well. But these goals changed when COVID-19 became our focus every day, everywhere. There has been no end to hearing about the heroic acts of nurses who put themselves at risk to care for those who may be or are infected with the COVID virus. We're not surprised because that's what nurses do. We see them use their brains and hearts to keep people safe, deliver exquisite care, and help families through death at a distance. What we don't often see though is the emotional toll that it's taking on our nursing workforce. The International Council of Nurses, ICN, 
has joined forces with our national nursing associations around the world to insist on safe working conditions and adequate personal protective equipment, as well as assurance that we will address the mental health issues for those who have suffered being witness to so many deaths and fears of not being able to care for their patients, not being able to save lives and serving as surrogate family. At this time, which was supposed to be one of celebration, we have also had to speak out to protect nurses from discrimination. ICN has urged world leaders to curb violence against nurses who are working with COVID patients. And as part of the global healthcare community, ICN joined 40 million other professionals in a letter to the G20 to ask governments to structure their economic recovery plans with a focus on public health. We know how important health is to quality of life and economic prosperity. And nurses are the key ingredient in restoring health and well being to their communities. They bring mental health care, testing and prevention measures for communicable diseases, and prevention measures for non communicable diseases, and help for mothers to ensure a healthy childhood for their babies. They implement creative solutions using technology to reach people in remote areas, go to places where there's conflict and negotiate for better food, clean water, and immunizations to keep families healthy and safe. This is a time for nurses to put modesty aside and be a strong voice in their communities. I have every confidence nurses will continue to lead and improve healthcare everywhere. It's time to invest more in nurses. We're proud to proclaim our value now more than ever. We want to do more to ensure universal health coverage so we will fight for more resources to educate more nurses. Nurses are bringing to the forefront their true image as leaders, using their knowledge and skills to help us create stronger healthcare systems and contribute to health policies that bring prosperity to all. This is today's nursing workforce, strong, innovative, fearless, and dedicated to ensuring a healthier world. Judy Smith is current CEO of New Jersey State Nurses Association. Judy is a true nurse leader and advisor, a true nurse advocate, a true patient advocate. She has played many leadership roles in many nursing organizations, and she is strong supporter of minority nurse organization. She is here with us today, an award winner from Seton Hall University Margaret Haley Award. George Hubert Award recipient for her nursing leadership. I welcome Judy here for her powerful message to all the nurses. For the New Jersey State Nurses Association, I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to give greetings to our nursing colleagues around the world. As we celebrate this International Year of the Nurse and our midwives, our resolve as a profession has undergone an extreme test. We are in the midst of a worldwide unprecedented healthcare crisis, COVID-19. Nurses have been the leaders and heroes in the fight against this coronavirus. We have drawn on our individual and collective strengths that exist within each and every nurse to overcome this enemy. Nurses have been on the front lines through many pandemics, natural disasters and wars. And this one is no different. We are all doing our part to mitigate any further insults to the patients under our care. We must be very proud of the work we have done and very proud of the work that we will do in the future. Even though we may be members of different nursing groups and live in different parts of the world, it is very important that we as nurses form a strong bond of collaboration and a strong network of communication. It is important that nurses everywhere support and cooperate with one another and with our other colleagues in healthcare. We need to promote and we need to support the nursing profession to the world. We need to ensure that our nursing profession continues through many more generations. The COVID crisis has nurses and nursing students thinking twice about whether or not this is the profession for them. But there are more of us that understand that nursing is a calling and we must be resilient. We need to support and mentor the next generation of nurses. We need to be there for them, 
and we need to reach out to them. And as always, remember nurses are the most trusted profession of all healthcare professions. In this crisis, we are seeing how the world is regarding us as heroes, but we must continue to earn that title even after the crisis has resolved. We must continue to be strong because the world needs us and the world cannot exist without us. So happy Nurses Year to all. Kate Gillespie is our New Jersey State Nurses Association President, our 47th President for New Jersey State. She's a born leader as well. She is leading many initiatives at her workplace and at the state level as a president, she is leading many nursing initiatives. And she has a message today for all the nurses. The nourishing profession marks a milestone in 2020 as the World Health Organization declares it the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife in honor of the 200th birthday of the birth of Florence Nightingale. It has never been more important to be recognized for the critical con contribution we are making today and every day to deliver evidence-based care to our patients and promote global health. During our month-long celebration of Florence Nightingale's 200th birthday, we look back at the life of this trailblazing woman and how she emerged from a truly challenging situation in the Crimean War with determination, commitment, and a true vision for a field of healthcare that did not even exist at the time. She broke down challenged the status quo and campaigned tirelessly to respect and legitimacy for the field of learning. Today, as we face the new challenges, let us draw strength and courage from Florence and continue her fight by showing the world we are so proud to be a nurse and what we do does make a difference. Remember, nursing is not what we do, it is who we are. I am so proud to be a nurse and for our professional organization. I want to say thank you to all the nurses across the world. You are the true heroes. Dr. Mary Ellen Roberts. She wears many hats. She is director of Acute Nurse Practitioner Program at Seton Hall University. But as a nurse leader, she has been one of the founding members of AANP. Her work is recognized as AANP. She serves as a Chair of Board of Commissioner at AANP Certification Board and she is immediate past Chair of Fellow of American Association of Nurse Practitioners. And here she is giving message to all the nurses and nurse practitioners. In January 2019, when the World Health Organization announced that 2020 would be the year of the nurse and midwife. Little did we know the importance the role of nursing would play in today's world. The parallels of nursing from the time of Florence Nightingale to the role nursing played during the 1918 influenza pandemic is certainly one we would have never imagined. Yet nursing has changed. Nursing shows true leadership on all levels. The Inspector General of WHO says that nurses are the bridge of healthcare, a crucial link between the people of the community and the complex healthcare system. Nurses are on the front lines of healthcare, he says, and because of this, they are the key factor in achieving universal health coverage, which is an initiative of, of WHO. WHO is spreading for the sake of bringing adequate healthcare to humans across the globe. But it is more important than that. It is the compassion, empathy, care, and innovations that nursing brings to the care we provide. Whether you are a bedside nurse, a public health nurse, an advanced practice nurse, you bring the essence of what Florence Nightingale believed in. I would like to take this moment to celebrate our history. As a leader in the nurse practitioner movement, nurse practitioners are at the forefront of health policy treating and caring for patients and not losing the nurse in nurse practitioner. Nurses are leaders who show great skill and humanity in ordinary and extraordinary times alike. The NP movement, which began in 1965, has changed nursing. The leaders of the movement have been called disruptive innovators, but I believe that it has brought the knowledge, skills, 
and importance of education to the forefront of what nurses are capable of. The global pandemic has shown how all healthcare providers can work together as a team, but it has also shown the important role that nursing plays in leading the healthcare team. NPs, nurse practitioners, are an important part of bringing healthcare to the most vulnerable, to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and in moving the vision of the leaders who came before us. As we celebrate nursing, let us not forget in the words of Florence Nightingale, I think one's feelings waste themselves in words. They ought all to be distilled into actions and into actions bring results. Nurses, advanced practice nurses do this every day, whether it be through policy, education, research or practice. Our most vulnerable gift is the care and empathy we give to our patients and ourselves. You are fulfilling the trust of the public and you are doing it one patient at a time. The recognition of nurses to care for them. Remember, be fearless, be endowed with the empowerment needed to continue our work. In the words of Loretta Ford, the founder of the Nurse Practitioner Movement, we are challenged to innovate, engage, inquire, invest, and invent creatively and expansively constantly and continuously. Are you ready for this challenge? I believe we are. Congratulations to all nurses in this 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale. Let's make her proud. We already have. Thank you. I would like to thank Indus TV for inviting me, a tribute to all our nurses, celebrating our nurse heroes. Mm -hmm.